Well, aloha, welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul, and today is the 4th of July, and in America, it's called Independence Day. And today, I'm actually going to be choosing a subject matter that is probably something very important to a lot of people. It's on the subject of fear and releasing fear. So for those that are just tuning in for the first time, wondering if this will be of value to watch, highly recommend it. I've been doing these live streams for almost a year now, a little over a year now actually, and uh, there is always uh, wisdom and value that can be learned. And if you have to go, then please hit the subscribe uh, button and you'll be notified of all of my uh, other live streams <coughs> as they happen, little by little. And you'll be given the opportunity to, to uh, also join my podcast because what I do after the full week is completed, I download the videos and turn them into audios and then put them on my website where you can uh, listen to podcasts. Um, podcasts are great because you can just basically have them streamed to your telephone or anywhere else. It's fairly, fairly, relatively simple for the most part. So you can find that information by going above my video today. You can see the links for that. Uh, watching the podcast or watching the record recordings of this video. So we've got a lot of folks joining today. Um, I hope that it'll be more. The subject of fear tends to uh, tends to get a lot of people's attention. Uh, a lot of us tend to have in our lives a bit too much of it, and it has a variety of ways of showing up. For some of us, we appear fearless in certain areas of our life and in other areas we can't pull the trigger so to speak when we know we need to do something and so uh, it's actually a very difficult thing in general to be completely fearless but there are a lot of sacred wisdom and practices that can assist us in removing fear in releasing fear and they can help us tremendously with the opportunities uh, in our life if we take the time to do the practices and or receive the blessings. So for those that are unfamiliar, um, the reason I have Master in front of the name Paul Fletcher is because I'm a certified Master Teacher and also have the ability to offer Tao blessings which can clear lifetimes of fear uh, in an instant. Uh, people who have received Tao blessings for this subject matter and for anxiety, depression, other things, uh, notice uh, typically yeah. instantly some results. So, learn more. Uh, my teacher, Master Shah, has written these books behind me. <coughs> I'm at his center right now, and we have a wall of, of a variety of his books. And so, um, it's an opportunity basically to be connected to turn on the air conditioner here above me getting a little hot here and so um, the, the books that are behind me are just filled with tremendous tremendous wisdom and part of the emotions Master Shah has taught us have relationship to imbalances in the five elements this will not be a five element teaching today I'm actually going to touch on it very little, but enough to where we have some grasp and understanding so that when we do the blessings, wisdom, and practices, you have a greater understanding of the what, why, and the how. And so um, let me uh, stop for a moment and acknowledge all of those that are joining in. <clears throat> so welcome Angela Diacomo. Aloha Kristen Rojas. Thank you for your unconditional service. Welcome Sheila Nelson. Welcome Lisa Zerniak. And aloha, Julia. Welcome also to Gary Pointer. Aloha, Annette. Aloha to Don Robinson. Welcome, Jess Christensen. Welcome, Carol Skakal. Welcome also, CJ. Welcome, Della. <coughs> welcome, Susan Birchmore. Aloha, Linda Jansen. And welcome also to Janice Crosby Carter. Welcome, Nancy Lynn. Aloha. Welcome Johnny, welcome Janet Hoffman, welcome Dana, and also welcome to uh, Nick Corey. 
So make sure you hit the share button, let other people know about this. <coughs> Aloha Raven Christine. Uh, just prior to this, I was offering uh, wisdom teachings and blessings on Master Shaw's um, chanting channel, which if you're not familiar with it, is just a great, great, great venue, tv.drsha.com. And it's 24-7 uh, of either one of the master teachers are teaching or Love, Peace, Harmony is being chanted <coughs> or recording. Uh, there's quite a few recordings of Master Shaw offering blessings on there. Um, it's basically a free venue where you can get massive wisdom teachings and blessings uh, and you can also put in requests for blessings and make gratitude comments as well. Uh, so Aloha Susan, thank you for joining. So I was on that a little while ago offering uh, teachings and you know I follow flow. So today is Independence Day in America. That means uh, it's called the 4th of July. Um, and what it stands for is, from a, from a geopolitical perspective, it stands for freedom. What I did was I took the workshop this hour, ago, an hour ago while I was live, <clears throat> and I spoke about the freedom, uh, the choice of free will, uh, specific to the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. And uh, just talked for an hour on that, well, a half hour, and then practices. But it's really, it was interesting because as I was sharing, Heaven was giving me information. <clears throat> and I was, uh, in essence, talking about how each and every day, Aloha Jim Wood, Aloha Ethrosini, each and every moment we have opportunity to make choice. And it is that free will choice that can positively or negatively impact uh, what our future is going to look like. This also connects to fear, the subject matter for today, because it is our free will choice how we respond in each moment that can have either a positive or a negative impact. Okay, so let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul first, <clears throat> and then we'll move forward with the uh, wisdom teachings and blessings. So placing our hands in soul light, soul surface, hand position, much like a prayer, we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed upwards. Let us close our eyes and let us release the day or prepare for the day, depending on what time zone you're in. <clears throat> let us begin. Dear our beloved Creator, all layers of divine Tao and Source, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including lamas, sifus, saints, gurus, all angels, healing angels, archangels, Buddhas, bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, all of our healing angels, all of our heavens teams, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask most humbly, most sincerely for your presence at this time. We ask for you to assist each and every one of us that watches or listens at this time or in the future to release our blockages related to fear. Fear of doing things for our physical well-being. Fear of doing things for our emotional well-being. Please bless us to release fear of doing things for our mental well-being. Please bless us to release the fears of doing things for our spiritual or relationship or financial well-being. We're very grateful. <clears throat> Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask most humbly and most sincerely for your presence and your blessings. We invite all souls in all universes to join us at this time as we chant Love, Peace, and Harmony. Let us also offer this blessing, this Love, Peace, Harmony blessing, to help all souls who are in fear to release their fear. So aloha Kamarudin, welcome John Crowley, welcome Atina, welcome Linda Martinez. If anybody else has shown and I haven't acknowledged you, love you, thank you for coming. <clears throat> so let us chant love, peace and harmony, uh, one or two rounds, offering this service for those that are new, listening for the first time, this is a blessing. Open yourself fully to receive the blessing. Let us begin. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la li Lu la 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula. Lula li, lula lula la li, lula lula li lula, lula ha li lula, lula li lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> how, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we've had some folks join uh, in the last little bit. So welcome, Jean Wood. Welcome also to Linda Martinez. Welcome, Atina. Welcome, John Crowley. Welcome, Kamradin. Kamra, Kam, Kamarudin, excuse me. Uh, welcome also to Sanjita. Welcome, Julie Mofat. And welcome to Linda Smith Deacons. Welcome also to Steffi Svetlana. And uh, welcome, Ilona. Lots of folks coming in late evening from your neck of the woods. And uh, also, welcome to Rhoda. Welcome, Sonia. Namaste. <clears throat> so if you haven't already, please hit the share button. Let other people know about this. Aloha, Didi Henry. Thank you all for joining. <clears throat> Fear is something that very few people do not have. I have it. It shows up for me in different areas of my life. Um, for some people, fear of doing something like this, right? A live stream is just petrifying. For me, no big deal. But what would be fearful for me? Um, going out into the city, <coughs> walking in and asking people to let me communicate to their, uh, to their audience. In other words, opening up avenues to complete strangers. So we all have fear in various areas of our life. And it shows up in different ways. So what I want to do first is I'm going to offer a soul reading. Uh, I'm not to everybody individually. Um, I'm going to offer, I'm going to ask Kevin to borrow my mouth and to offer guidance on the nature of fear, the power and significance, and what we can do about it. And then I'll offer uh, a blessing, okay? <clears throat> so prepare to receive this guidance.
How? I have come at this time to offer information that can assist you with not only understanding the nature of fear but the purpose of it as well as what you can do to release it. Fear is a four-letter word. Some jokingly say, false evidence appearing real. That is not exactly correct. It is evidence but the evidence is designed to point you to a flaw, a area that is currently in your life that has been predicated upon others. The nature of the universe is much like a boomerang. What you give is what you receive what you throw out comes back to you matters not that you remember what causes fear but the throwing out of the fear first there are those that are watching today that have unique fears fears of what could happen if they eat a certain food or go to that area or do a certain thing. There are those that fear being successful, those that fear failing. There are those that fear entering into relationships again. The number and differential versions of fear are as many as there are human souls. Each of them have a root unique to the fear itself. For example, fear of entering into a relationship has precursors, including being hurt emotionally. Therefore, the fear of entering into a relationship. But there is a precursor to being hurt emotionally, and that is the negative service to others of bringing hurt to them emotionally which caused them to have fear of entering to a relationship this negative debt then shows up in this example there are others that have fear of success what is your fear think about it now Once you have discerned one or two or three of your main fears, ask yourself, why has this been so predominant in my life? The answer is the same as was mentioned for relationship. The action, thought, word has been brought upon others. You noticed I gave you an example where an action of being hurt in a relationship caused you to avoid one. And it was one that led to the fear. It is the same with your fear currently. What led you to have that fear? Because it is often what we do to others that causes them to have a fear. It is not always direct. It is a secondary nature. And this is where the healing begins. For in the release of the spiritual debt that has been incurred over the course of time, one can 
no longer have the burden in the current time. You know the practice of forgiveness, and yet you know not how to apply it. This is a representative example. This simple explanation can create miracles for people that have fear. They simply need to define the specific areas, the precursors that have brought about those fears, and then both offer and ask for forgiveness for having brought those conditions upon others. Then strengthen the physical, emotional, mental vehicles through practices because the energetics have dilapidated the physical, emotional, mental vehicles. Therefore, they must be re-strengthened after the forgiveness is offered, received, and the debt released. This is the clear and simple explanation for you to understand. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so hopefully that explanation assists you with, um, with a better understanding of the nature of it. <clears throat> and so there are two parts to, to this based on the wisdom that came through. One part is clearly discerning uh, where it shows up in our life and looking for not only I am afraid of this, but why? Okay, because there's something that led to that. Um, and most likely it's happening in more than one area of your life. <clears throat> For me, fear of going out and putting myself in the public eye on a one-to-one, -one, me getting in front of people basis. I have to drill down on that, find out what is the source of it, do forgiveness practice around that. You have to do the same thing, okay? And we're going to do that in a little while for your uh, choice condition. Welcome Candy Cornet, welcome Nick, welcome Magdalena, welcome Jacqueline, welcome uh, Jenna, and also welcome Megan. Uh, welcome Clarissa, welcome also to Elizabeth. <coughs> welcome also Lori uh, Hickman. And so I said I would offer a blessing, so at this time I will offer a blessing to assist you, uh, not only with releasing fear, but to assist you with um, being present to not only when it comes up, addressing it, but being responsible, okay? So choose one, only one uh, area that you would like to receive blessings for related to fear. This blessing is as appropriate for all those that are watching, all those that are listening. <clears throat> for one, if you choose more than one, it will not work. Only request one. Uh, for one request, for the condition of fear, for that request, specifically to assist them with doing the necessary practices and having the unnecessary awakening so that they are able to release it fully, entirely, and completely, as appropriate. Blessing. Again. Hey, yeah, 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 Hey, 
Treasure, please return. <coughs> so that blessing was, you know, um, certainly took some edges off. Uh, for some of you, may have done significant blessings for others. It could have had just a snippet of a benefit. Depends on how significant your conditions are. According to the wisdom and teachings uh, of the traditional Eastern medicines, the emotions have an association to organs and what is called the five elements. The five elements, uh, according again to uh, many of the Eastern traditions, uh, is in all stars, planets, galaxies, universes, Mother Earth, and human beings. So the five elements are wood, metal, metal fire, earth, water. And uh, these elements are, according to that wisdom and philosophy, in every soul and every matter, every piece of energy. Uh, and when they're in balance, everything is perfect. In the human being, there's a relationship of those five elements to the major organs. The emotion of fear has a direct association to the organ of, uh, of the kidneys. The kidneys are associated to the water element. So what does this have to do with clearing the blockages? <clears throat> well, we could do it at the mental level we could just, you know, buckle down and just go at it head on uh, and just try to, try to uh, beat it to submission. That's worked for some people, um, but it's certainly not going to work for everybody. There is a higher, uh, easier way to accomplish this, and that is using soul power. Now we have uh, beloved great masters before us. We have our beloved Jesus. We have beloved Mother Mary. We have the great being Buddha. There are many great beings before us, of course, our Creator. And they're always here to serve us. We, why would we not involve them in assisting us in releasing the blockages? So it makes a big, big difference. And so we also have practices and we have the knowledge of the five elements and an association to the body. And so it has been validated through practices uh, and through testimonials that when we do some of the practices are going to be suggested <clears throat> that um, fear regardless of the origination of it can be um, released or can be diminished and that release and diminishment can sustain over the course of time now if you find yourself doing this practice consistently every day for 30 days 60 days and, and you still have fear it's more likely apprehension or anxiety. And that has a different root. And apprehension, anxiety, depression have different roots. They're more associated with heart blockages or heart center blockages. And so um, know that if you're doing the right things and yet that's still there, um, it could be a higher spiritual debt that needs to be released. But it's unlikely. It, there's typically, if you do the practice, is going to be a noticeable reduction. Okay? So, how do we do that and how do we employ the four powers? How do we uh, get a, a, a handle on this? The first is applying the wisdom that was learned. So we had a few more people join. Let's see. Welcome Melanie. Welcome Deborah Anderson. Welcome Jessica. <clears throat> so we've, um, the first part of this, we received information that shared that uh, our fear has a root. And that root is wherever our fear is, whatever it is, we step it backwards to see what brought about that fear. We use the relationship as an example. So each of you need to do that because we're going to go through the steps right now for self-healing. So first step, choose one, because you can apply this to different ones, but just choose one for now, specific fear area in your life. You don't need to post it. You can just do it for yourself. <coughs> now, consciously step backwards what brought this fear and try not to say it was uncle bob or it was you know duh try to be a little more holistic with it it was 
it's a fear of men in general okay uh, taking advantage of me example it's a fear of failure uh, because I my other two businesses failed it's a fear of uh, contracting a disease because my mother died of a disease it's, you know that's a good one for cancer for example a lot of people have fear of getting cancer because those who preceded them also died of it so everyone has that fear find the precursor to it and try to be not too specific to it just a little more general because typically there's a a pattern uh, look for that pattern you might find that that fear uh, several people or several activities or several uh, occurrences uh, all associate to that fear okay now when you find that that's what we do the forgiveness practice upon and when we do our four power technique we're going to employ that okay so where you're at sit up straight feet flat on the floor bring your back away from the back of the chair we know that the kidneys and the water element carry this imbalance and so we need to give them attention to assist them with releasing this imbalance we're going to employ the soul power we're going to employ the forgiveness practice and we're going to use them all to empower the areas that may have been damaged the forgiveness practice is to release the the spiritual blockages the negativity that brought this reminder to us in the form of that boomerang the practice itself of, of, of bringing love and light uh, and vibrational frequency to the area of the water element in the kidneys is purposeful in rebuilding the areas of the body that generally speaking house the fear and so because the fear itself uh, degrades the physical emotional mental body and so this practice rebuilds the physical emotional mental body so it's a two-part one is the release of the blockages the other is the rebuilding of the damaged areas and in essence it's the same way that Tao blessings work you can expedite dramatically the release of fear or for that you know any emotion depression whatever it might be by receiving a Tao blessing uh, because in essence it does what we're going to do about a thousand times uh, fold <clears throat> so if this is insufficient or you're interested then just get hold of me uh, Tao blessings will assist you a lot so uh, let's do the forgiveness practice first placing our hands in the soul light soul service hand position it's a hand mudra we drop the left hand in front of the heart center the right hand remains pointed towards heaven and this just connects heaven into our heart center okay close your eyes let us connect if it is comfortable please repeat after me dear all souls dear beloved divine my beloved creator my name is Paul Fletcher state your name <clears throat> I have fear I have specific fear around and then state what your fear is around going my, in my case going out to public and communicating with people in public uh, for my business etc I know that at some point in time I or my ancestors have created conditions upon others that have caused others to have the same fear that I am currently experiencing I wish to deeply humbly and sincerely apologize to all of the, those souls in all lifetimes that I or my ancestors have spoken to acted upon or even thought about in such a way where they have experienced the same fear that I am experiencing for the same conditions that I'm experiencing them with I wish to sincerely apologize for this in all lifetimes that I have caused uh, fear for any reasons whatsoever if I have harmed other people's kidneys or water elements I sincerely sincerely apologize I have learned my lessons I have not enjoyed being in this place of fear I recognize now that there is a reason for it and I am grateful for this awakening 
I am grateful for the opportunity to ask forgiveness. I am grateful for the opportunity of the possibility of receiving the forgiveness from all those that I or my ancestors may have harmed. I wish to offer all of the souls that have ever harmed me, caused me to be fearful, caused me to be uh, in a place of fear around this subject matter. If I have blamed you, if I have pointed a finger at any one soul or any person or any business or any condition, any relationship, whatever it may be, please forgive me for blaming you. I, I ask your forgiveness. I offer my forgiveness to all of those that I have been blaming and ask for their forgiveness. Now we will go about the rebuilding part. Continue to repeat. Dear my beloved Creator, all the beings of light that have come to this practice today, I love you all, honor you, respect you, have the greatest gratitude and appreciation for your love, your blessings, your unconditional service to humanity and me and my soul journey. I can never bow to you enough for saving my life, for serving me, for helping me to make better choices, for blessing me to awaken to my soul's intentions. Thank you to all those beings of light. Thank you, Divine Creator. I am very, very grateful. I ask most humbly that you bless my water element and my kidneys to help me to strengthen the areas that have been harmed as a result of this fear. Please bless me to have confidence. Dear the soul of heaven's highest confidence, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please come to me, bless me to be confident in the areas I have had fear. I am very, very grateful. Thank you. <clears throat> and so, body power. Place your hands, if you can, both palms on your kidneys. If you cannot, place both hands on your kidneys uh, because you just can't reach around, then place both palms on your lower abdomen. Put your mind on your kidneys. Visualize light, golden light in your kidneys impacting the entire water of your entire body. Okay, your body is at least 70% water and so visualize that. All right? Keep your eyes closed. We're going to chant yo, yo, yo. Yo is a mantra, sound power, that boosts power to the kidneys and the water element. I will do variations of yo, <coughs> including yo, ya, yo, dao, and whatnot. Continue to repeat. Let us begin. Yo, ya, yo, dao. Yo, ya, yo, dao. Yo ya yo da yo ya yo da yo ya yo da see the light coming in rebuilding re boosting the area filling all the water and your kidneys with golden healing light Yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao. Yo ya yo dao, <coughs> yo ya yo dao, yo ya yo dao, yo ya 
อยู่เรายอยู่ยอยู่เรายอยอยู่เรายอยอยู่เรายอยอยู่เรายอยอยู่เรายอยอยู่เรา I'm going to ask some of my treasures to turn on and come to you. Dear, any downloads and treasures I've received for confidence, please turn on. All the downloads and treasures I've received for fear, releasing fear, please turn on. Please subdivide. Go to the souls of all those that are chanting at this time. Offer blessings as appropriate for releasing their fear, boosting their confidence as appropriate. Continue. Yo, yo, yo! See light burst. Yo, 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 yo. Yo 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 yo. As you chant, feel the vibration in your kidneys. As you chant, see the burst of light clearing blockages. Yo 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 yo. Yo 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 ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo 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 ya yo dao 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 yo 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 feel the vibration yo 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> Continue to repeat, dear my soul. You have experienced confidence in many areas of my life. You have experienced confidence in the area that I am currently. Experiencing fear. Please bring confidence to me, especially in the areas that I had been experiencing fear. Please bless me to trust. Please bless me to release the blockages. Thank you. I trust my soul. I trust my soul. I trust my soul. I trust my soul. I trust my divine. 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 Dear the soul of these messages. I trust my soul. I trust the divine. You are my new message. You have the power to replace any fear or negative messages. This repeat after me, guys. I'll repeat it one more time. Dear my soul, I love you. 
you have received positive messages. You have been confident before in the same area that I have fear in now. Please bring the memories and energies of confidence. Please bring the energies and memories of trust in you and the divine. Continue to repeat. My soul orders the memories of trust of the divine confidence to infuse the negative fear areas of my physical, emotional, mental bodies. This is my soul order to myself. Let us go back, visualize the light, see confidence coming in, see trust coming in, see the divine. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 ya, yo, dao, 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 yo, ya, yo, dao. Yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao yo ya yo dao. Now, finish by bowing your head to your beloved divine creator. Say thank you for giving me the opportunity to recognize that the fear I have experienced could be as a result of bringing it to others in times that I do not remember. That my ancestors could have brought fear to others. I am grateful for the opportunity to ask for forgiveness, to receive forgiveness for those that may have experienced fear as a result of I or my ancestors' mistakes. Thank you for this wisdom, beloved divine. Thank you to all of the souls that have offered their unconditional forgiveness for any harm that I or my ancestors may have brought upon them. Thank you to the beings of light and beloved divine for blessing me now, boosting my kidneys, boosting my water element, boosting my trust, releasing the fear. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So when you're ready, return and share what that experience was like for you. If you happen to notice any difference, then you can write down a measurement. It's not necessarily something that people can measure because fear doesn't necessarily happen when you're watching a live stream. But you can check into it later. You will know because when and if and it's, a, it's an if, because you don't know. It could have been fully addressed. If those fears come up again, you simply uh, reconnect to the energies of this practice. You reconnect to the forgiveness. You do that, and you ask, for example, the Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to transform the blockages and bring trust in your soul and in the divine to bring um, uh, confidence to those areas. So this is what you can do each and every time those things pop up. And it may take time. Uh, true story, one of the people who had significant fear of, um, of a speaking in public, um, they, Master Shah taught him once, it was just very brief teaching. He said, just do practice on your kidneys, chant yo 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 dao uh, 20 minutes a day, uh, and, and every day until your, until your event. And the event was like a month away. And the person told him after the fact, that they had been doing the practices and they went through various levels of apprehension but when it came time they just walked up on stage did the presentation and didn't even think about it there was no this fear was completely gone so it's hard for the mind to think that 
that something such as what we just did as the practices can make a difference of something that we think is mind level but it has to do with releasing the, the core the original source of it and then boosting the areas that are negatively impacted so let's see what some of the comments are <coughs> um, Magdalene says great practice you're very welcome felt dizziness says Deborah Angie uh, exactly what I needed thank you so very grateful has reboosted my trust and confidence in my journey and self-worth wonderful Nancy Lynn felt very peaceful uh, complete forgiveness and trust says Lori um, some people having trouble with their live stream sorry about that Linda says feeling very calm and Wayne Cohen I'm very relaxed and less anxious wonderful um, strong boost of juice into the kidney says Julia and uh, Deborah feeling peaceful and loving Melanie says thank you Master Paul for showing me the way she'll definitely do more learning uh, and bless tenfold thank you thank you Lisa feels a little bit calmer so in conclusion <clears throat> we are a soul first everything happens everything that happens in our life past present future stays with the soul including bringing fear upon others a lack of confidence upon others and so forth and we did not remember we're, we're all good folks here guys we 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 don't go out of our way to hurt people we do our best to be good but the reason we're the good folks we are now is because we learned a lot and we're not making those same mistakes but it doesn't mean we've always been that intelligent that wise and that open-hearted uh, in previous times we or our ancestors may have made some significant errors and so that follows us at the level of soul that includes uh, impacting our organs systems emotions mental mindsets attitudes and beliefs and our spiritual journey and so when we address things at the level of soul using the wisdom and practices that have uh, been serving human beings for many many lifetimes uh, including uh, this one when we employ the soul power uh, it, it makes a tremendous difference so remember always do the forgiveness identify your your area of fear do the forgiveness practices around it and then employ practices like this um, you may or may not remember the specificities of this it does not remember do a forgiveness practice ask the song of love peace and harmony to clear the blockages bring trust and confidence to bless all those souls that have been harmed you can repeat that again and again and it will make a difference if you repeat it um, if you want the shortcut then receive a Tao blessing I offer crown chakra blessings for your specific fear or you can receive a healing and transmission system which is which is like the rotor rooter the king of it all and you get light wall protections that keep it from coming back you know so there's, there's a range of, of honor fee depending on what you'd like but they're listed on my website and you can talk to me on on uh, Facebook Messenger or email me whatever I can fill in the blanks for you it's a small honor fee but you know if you can clear hundreds of thousands of lifetimes hundreds and thousands of hours of of self work in one blessing not a bad thought so if you can afford to uh, or not even afford to if you can uh, take a look at it become more informed affordability is a non-issue because it's really cheap for the most part to save yourself thousands of hours of suffering so I love you I thank you for coming thank you for sharing hitting the share button if you're new hit the subscribe button you'll always know when I go live uh, I also have podcasts that are available you can go to the links listed above this video and listen more through the podcasts. they run about a week behind the videos but they're all good too so thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you let me know if I can serve you with special fear-based blessings and we'll see you uh, tomorrow bye bye everybody